Come. Oh my god, it's a monster! Oh my god! What's up everybody? Rob and I just got a new lighting kit. We're really excited about testing it out tonight. I have been catching black drum the last few nights. Been trying for two years, I finally figured it out. Rob's been wanting to go. He helped all the test phase. He did all the testing with me and didn't have didn't get to reap the rewards. And I have, so I felt bad. So Rob just got back from a trip. He's gonna get his first big black drum. We'll show you the setup and we'll get him going. Oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right guys, it's time to catch some black drum. The water temperature in our side of Florida, in Clearwater area, has been between 58 and 65 for the past few weeks. So there's not a whole hell of a lot to do besides catching trout and redfish, and that gets pretty old pretty quick. So if you want to catch some epic sized fish that may not be super fun to fight, but they're super fun to hold for pictures and they're massive, this is how you do the black drum fishing. We've got a medium heavy rod, and we've got a Saragossa 6000, advanced all 150, just big, a big snook rod basically is all you want. We're using 20 to 30 pound braid, Cortland Master Braid, and then we got Cortland Fluorocarbon, we got 40 pound on each one of these rods. We both have two rods. Now, the water doesn't rip, the current doesn't rip here in the passes around us too hard during the winter time. All right, so we use a three ounce egg sinker. Well, if you're on the East Coast, you want, and it's cold over there, and you have black drum in the area, you hear about them, you might want to go to a four or five ounce, keep the weight down. What that does is this drops the bottom, right? We use a crab for bait, I'll show you that in a second. And as the current pulls, this weight stays in the bottom and the crab drifts behind it. What that does is it leaves the crab right down here in the bottom, moving naturally underneath the water surface, and the black drum sniff it out, they come eat it. They hit very soft, they hit very gentle, so you gotta watch your rod tip and feel it. You got a reel only. We use five aught circle hooks. We don't set the hook, we feel the bumps, we reel slowly, you feel the weight, you don't lift, you just keep reeling. When they start running, then it's game on, do what you gotta do, all right? Um, that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys how to rig up the crabs, and we're gonna go catch you guys a few black drum. We did the last few nights. I'll roll a couple of those fish off on my cell phone into this video right here. But it's I've never so filmed sweetheart. it with a nice camera, so I'm looking forward to doing this tonight. Rob, you ready to catch your first big black drum? Yield, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's the group of black drum right there. And sometimes, underneath the boats, that's a pile. Rob, you see that right there? Yeah. That's a pile of big black drum. They're in the light. We just ripped it kind of into it, spot lock it down right here behind us. So I'm trying to keep us kind of out of this, but they're in the lights. There's a pile of black drum right there on the surface. All right, live blue crabs, six inches to eight inches. Not too big, but not small. And why live, you might ask, because we're about to cut this thing in half because the meat inside stays intact. Down there, you got a bunch of bait fish and stuff that'll pick at it. If it's dead, the meat's gonna be soft. It'll be easy to pick off. You won't get as much time out of it. Now, how do you cut these things in half? You get yourself a pair of scissors and you cut. It's really sad, I know. But you cut in half, all the way through. Make sure it comes all the way through the middle and you start down the front side and you cut. By the time you cut through that, you can just pop in half, boom. And there's two pieces of bait right here. Now, the final thing I have for you guys, and now you can watch the show. You can apply this so easily, I'm telling you. Five aught circle hook. You got your knocker rig, the three ounce egg sinker. The flipper on the crab, right here. So go underneath the flipper right here and through the shell on this side. When I get it done, I'll show you. And that's it right there. I use a loop knot here so it kind of flaps into the current, nice and natural light. All right, behind us here, we've got this light where, the, where all the fish are at. All we're gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing out in the light and let it fall rapidly. And when it hits, just hit bottom. So I'm going to hold on to it for a second. Then I'm going to let about you know four feet of line out, three feet of line out. And we're going to let it sit. The other rod, Rob's going to do the same thing, but he's going to be holding the rod. And all we're going to wait for are little bounces. When those little bounces happen, that means that that black drum's grabbing onto it, and it's crushing it. They don't have teeth. they got crushers like redfish. They're going to be depressing that 
crab down, trying to get the meat out, to break it down so they can swallow it. They don't hit it hard. No, they don't, not at all. You just lost one, Rob. What happened? Uh, I reeled up too fast and pulled it out of his mouth. down when you can gate line oh my god it's a monster it's a monster boy she's what you're waiting for oh yeah blowing 30 knots tides ripping <laughs> oh my god. YouTube, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> oh my God! Woohoo! <laughs> Holy cow! Look at the size of that monster! <laughs> oh! -ho -ho -ho! to get a few we'll take one it's been a struggle we got 30 mile an hour winds blowing on us this way we've got a ripping tide because of a full moon i did not know about it. i didn't think the tide was gonna be that strong and it is this poor trolling motor has been working its ass off for about two hours we got one fish we could probably stay and get more but rob's got to go to work tomorrow at 4 a.m so we're gonna call it a day hope you enjoyed the show next time we come out here and do this maybe we'll have a little more luck better conditions but maybe, that's how you catch big maybe black tomorrow night maybe tomorrow night we'll come tomorrow. back maybe all right let's what do you think? all right let's do it let us know